Josh Batchelor in the middle and Alex Bauer. So it's a full 250 front row with Richard Willits in, on the outside of that second row with Hayden Scorich, Grant Hard, Kevin Goddard, Andy McLaughlin. And we're going to see these back rows here. It's been great. How good is that thing is? Whether they can try and sneak a whole shot, but it looks like Richard Willits has just cut the nose off a few people there quite politely and uh, taken that whole shot. Yeah. So Lewis Stray, you know, he's caught out of that cash roll in second, but Grant Ram shows the power of that R3. Very well prepared and probably the best presenter bike in that paddock. Uh, those two front ones from Timmy Yamaha, so great to see them out there. Richard Willett's got the whole shot there, and he's probably got uh, 25 bike lengths uh, up on second place, probably about 25 as they go into the John Jones. Uh, steel corner. So Richard Willett's on fire this weekend. The man that's been around the 250 production class for a number of years and has moved up. Part of the SOF uh, silly old something. You can apply the F to whatever you like but the Timaru SOF team. There was a number of them around here and uh, part of that team and right now he's got a clear set of uh, Tars uh, Ashfield Tarsil in front of him but uh, Ramage in second place. Don't discount off the back row. Dennis Charlotte. He's just showed us why he's... Uh, in fact here comes Charlotte up on the inside. Tries on the inside of uh, Ramage into the bus stop, but don't just count uh, Dennis Charlotte out of this little thing. Here we go. Across the start finish line. Uh, half a point being thinner is still as Richard Willett. There's Ramage on the inside. I'll tell you what, Dennis tucks on the outside there and tries to get on the inside as they come into turn two there, but they go into processional form around the uh, turn one. Castrol, the big sweeper, uh, turn three, sorry, here at uh, Levels for the final race of the day. Yeah, I think Dennis Charlotte's going to get the drive down here, the punch out of this corner. Goes past him at the uh, right early on the straight, and it goes past Alan Ramage there, uh, Dean Watson. Yeah, and also this battle for fourth is holding up. There's Lewis Graham White coming out of Castrol and Kevin Goddard on his... Uh, Charlotte is through and Kevin Goddard's showing the pad and straight of that lightweight bike. So he's gone in front. And it'll be interesting to see who comes out through this infield with the 250 of Lewis Drake. He can hold the corner speed and hopefully get past Goddard for that fourth position. It's a good battle there, but as they soon to come into sight, will we see these front runners? And, and it looks like Dennis has got in front, Ramish in second. Ramish starting to look around the outside of that hairpin. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dennis got through on the John Jones corner and coming out of there, uh, Grant Ramage went past the number 92 machine of Richard Willits. So Richard Willits from first to third place in a matter of two corners, but uh, fourth place there. A good solid fourth place by Lewis Ray. The white flag is out the last lap of the race. A 166,000 to the difference there. Dennis Charlotte putting in a 114.810 in the swingest lap. A 115.010 for Grant Ramage. And uh, Dennis put in his last lap. Last lap was his fastest lap. So I think it's going to go to Dennis Charlotte but we've still got uh, three quarters of a lap to go Ramage sits in there behind and then we've got Richard Willett, a bit of a lonely ride out there for fourth place, Kevin Goddard who's that that just pulled out? And we've just had a retirement from Lewis Graham, not sure what happened, he had his hand up and rode into the pit so we're not sure what's quite gone wrong there the bike's obviously still going but the fight is on out of the John Jones corner. It's still the same three suspects, Charlotte, Ramage and uh, Richard Willits there. They disappear out of sight. This is the last lap, three times three legs. We've already seen a couple of checkered flags for, uh, or at least a checkered flag for um, Dennis Charlotte and Richard Willett, so uh, if Dennis Charlotte takes this one, looks like he's going to do it as he comes to the hairpin, he will take the Alan Ramage Memorial Trophy for the 2016 season. Don't forget folks, CTAS Live Timing, you've watched it all day, or if you haven't watched it, you can tune in within about two days and see all this footage. It is free now, it is free. All the historical footage will eventually be free on CTAS. Charlotte Ramage Willits, yes, yeah, so uh, Charlotte Ramage Willits, and then we go to Kevin Goddard in a bit of a lonely fourth and there's Jacob Stroud, the first of the 250s home. Jacob Stroud, followed by Andy McLaughlin. Josh Batchelor moved up on Alex Bowers. Alex Bowers has gone through there. And another Kawasaki there, and that is Hayden Scorch. And then Connor Perrett, and that is before. done and dusted. Thank you very much, Timaru. And um, it's been a tough weekend with our um, serious accident, and we wish uh, Sean Harris all the best for his recovery. Uh, the wife and daughter has joined uh, Sean at the Christchurch.